Now that you know that emulation is a good solution for this course, let's take a look at the Chrome Developer Tools emulator. I also recommend setting up maybe Android Studio emulator or an Xcode emulator, but the Chrome Developer Tools emulator is also a good solution. I'll open up the Chrome Developer Tools emulator and look at a mobile view of the Mizzou website. First, I'll need to open up Chrome navigate to Missouri.edu and open up the developer tools using command option J or control alt J. Next I'll hit the emulator button. It's that phone looking icon in the toolbar. Great! The emulator is ready to go. I can start loading pages and see how they look. But before I do I like to dock the tools to the right side of the browser window. Since most phones are viewed in portrait, docking to the right gives the most amount of vertical space. The other thing I need to do is pick the device I want to emulate. Chrome already has a bunch of predefined devices that I can choose from. Here in the drop down menu at the top, you'll see the devices that are selected by default. Chrome automatically sets the viewport size, the user agent, device pixel ratio, and enables touch emulation. If you are not familiar with some of these terms, don't worry, we will cover them as part of this course. Now I can see how a page renders across multiple devices without ever leaving Chrome. Sweet! Chrome has several other things it can emulate for you in the emulation panel. Hit the escape button to bring it up. You should go check out a few sites with different emulated devices and see how they behave. And don't forget to check out some of the other things you can emulate while you're there.